Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Fallout 4 on the PS4. Yes, it's November, it's finally that time we get to play Fallout. And I have my Pip Boy Edition, which you should have spied now if you had th th any gumption about you seen the uh, unboxing video I did. Or you have your own one. Yes, we're going to start a new game. I've been waiting for this so long, it is like quarter to two in the morning on launch day. I'm going to record the first episode, then get some sleep, and then I'm going to just bombard you this week with more Fallout goodness. So let's get into it. Ooh, it's so exciting. I've been waiting so long to play this game. Ever since it was announced at E3, I've just been salivating for it. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Fucking hell. Now isn't that a just dripping with mood and... S Ooh, so good. Hey, it's me. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Is that a speech for the veterans, is it? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Right, I am actually just gonna leave everything as it is. Um, I'm not gonna bother with character creation because... To be honest, he looks, he looks good enough as it is and I'd probably make just some horrendous thing. I'll eventually, when I do a second playthrough of this, I'll eventually do my own thing with it, but for now we'll just confirm the character. Plus I think the character creation is a bit weird. So, auto-saving... Nora. Hun. Hmm, just getting ready. Okay. So we have a Mr. Handy in the house. Another fine product of General Atomics <laughs> International. A Brexo cleaner. Oh, it's just dripping the nostalgia. Ah, good morning, sir. Godsworth. Thanks, Godsworth. And today's newspaper just delivered. Of course, sir. I didn't actually tell him to do anything. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Okay, then. Fantastic. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Mint. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Let's put subtitles on if we can. Um, 
Yep, on general subtitles on. Okay, Pip Boy, and we can look at the Pip Boy later. I actually want to try and second screen the Pip Boy when I get back into it. Right, so we talk to Codsworth now. Hey, Codsworth. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. Nope. Oh, sounds like someone made a stick. <laughs> I should attend to young Sean. I want a Codsworth. Please can I have a Codsworth. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. He really is. Now, a lot of people have been bitching on about the graphics about this game, but I think it still looks just good. It just looks really, really good and looks... Everything just seems to work for me. Voltec outside. Right. Okay, let's go have a look at the robot with the baby. Codsworth. Ah, chores and more chores. My endless. I really want a Codsworth. Play with Sean. Okay, so right, we need to go to the front door. He's so jolly as Codsworth. I love him. I really do want one. All right, let's. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Oh, really? Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning, oh, I was really pushing the now, hard sell here. I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. That sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. It sounds like a pretty foreseen event if the way he's selling it. Verify some information. Okay, so That's this is all. where we do the main bulk of the character creation. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Right, okay, so 21 points available, so... Um, right, so I want to put a couple of points into strength. Five into, into perception, I think. Seven into endurance. Um, eight. Okay, we'll take two off that, two into that. Not to there, maybe knock an endurance down one, put a strength up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and I need my name. Okay, well, I'll put my name in, uh, which is, of course, Mike. I don't think Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts, would fit in there, so we'll just stick with Mike. Except. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Slam. Uh, thanks again. <laughs> hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. I have my moments. I'm just smooth as fuck. Mr. Mike, <laughs> Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You seem to be so good. I love the fact that he has the custom names in there. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Apparently he's been programmed with some like thousands of common names. Let's play with Sean. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Okay, we'll spin the mobile. Or the mobile. Hey. 
Much better now, huh? Yeah, he seems perfectly happy. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. The weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Uh-oh. Right, okay, so this will be where the atomic annihilation yes, comes down. by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Yeah, so much oh for God. unforeseen circumstances. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! Alright, come Residence on, Nora. Let's get out of here. If you are registered, so, okay, I, I like the new compass marker, actually. The nukes are coming, the damn commies. And there's Nora us. I have no idea where Nora is. She'll be following. Right, so... Thank you, soldier. I thought that was the vault tech guy there for a second. I am the Prepare okay. for the future. Hey. I'm reporting this! If you're we need to get in. We're on the Apparently list. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Power armor Thank looks you. so cool in this game. You two, follow me. Come on. Right, come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. We're moving as fast as I fucking can. Jesus. Right, here we go. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. I'm on the platform, goddammit. Step on the platform in the center. Alright. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh, oh there it is. There's Hold on. not many people here. Oh, oh, Whoa, shit. Holy crap. <laughs> and down, down, down we go into the vault. Okay, so this is what we've seen from the E3 so far. Um, still looking pretty good. I'm so desperate to get into this game. Okay, this is all new. We did it. We made it. We're okay. okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. I already don't like Sweet Mr. Chest. Russell. Yes, up the stairs. I'm Mr. Russell, the overseer. We left a minute later. Hey, no, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Okay, we're safe now, apparently. Just head up the stairs. We'll take care of everything. That sounds very sinister. Is the big vault door? Welcome home, Boop. Welcome home. This way, please. Out of the way, Mr. Step and Mrs. Step Abel. Step over Mail. the table and take a seat. Just this way. Female in a little time. So step over to the table. Pick up a You'll seat need right your right suits there. before we can take you right further. Okay, so what do I do I do I take it off you? Uh thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. Alright then. Alright, you three. Follow me. Oh, come on then, Doc. Let's go. This is our new home. It's down the hallway. Oh, you're gonna Rough. love it. The design of this, this is, is so good. This is one of good. our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, <laughs> mind you. The other, well, in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, Everything they were all dark and dingy, and this is just bright and shiny. Obviously, this is 2077 when it's How when the war started. Down here? I know. But still. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through Just first. checking everyone off the list as they come in. All right. Prepared for the future. And this is the cryo sleep, I assume, which is how we wake up 200 years later. Excuse me. Follow me. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. Okay, the de decontamination pods. 
Oh, that was quick. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the bomb. Just realize. I'll try my best to. Time for a whole new life. Yep. Resident secure. <laughs> Occupant vitals. Normal. Oh, I don't like this. Procedure complete. In five. This is cryosleep. Fucking hell. Okay, so. Dang. Yeah, I don't think this is decontamination. I think they're actually cryogenically frozen us all. Cryogenic stasis is suspended. See? Of course, Nora and Sean are gone. Oh no, are they still there? This is the one. Here. What the fuck? Open it. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me out. Where are they taking my wife and baby? Shit. What the fuck? Back up to what? What the hell do they want Sean for? We're we gonna be sleeping for like thirty odd years, and then Sean's gonna be an adult. I don't. I don't. Whoa! What the fuck? Sorry, it's really, really late. I'm very confused as to what's going on right now. <coughs> Gasping, coughing. Okay, well, I'm vacating as fast as I can. Right, started, out of time. Come on! There has to be a release! Control panel. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. So she's dead. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Oh, okay, so I'm attacking there. And defending, and attacking. Right, okay, so I need to get out of Vault 111. Alright, so... Shit hit the fan, can we open this door? Some more cryopods in here. I'll tell you what, you move a hell of a lot faster than you did in Fallout 3. Damn side faster indeed. Uh, I'll take a new jumpsuit. Support. Lots of loot. Okay, well, actually, not a lot of loot, but alright. <coughs> this one is this gonna be more crowd chambers? Now we've got some rad roaches, power systems. Figure I might as well explore the vault somehow. Dang, you dead. Take your rad roach meat. Giant roaches? What the hell? Beer bottle, coffee cup. So what actually went on here and why? I don't understand why they took Sean. Uh, right, so there's nothing in the refrigerator. Recreation terminal? What does this give us? Oversee a memo. Remember, use of recreation terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Top 10. Play tape. What's the tape? Red Menace. 
All oh, right, this is the Mario, uh, the Donkey Kong one. How high can you get? Oh, it's like a game within a game. It's Gameception. Up we go. Can't believe I'm doing a let's play of a. I'm doing a game within a game in a let's play. I'm failing at it miserably. Yeah, okay, let's quit that. It's a nice little distraction, but... Kind of need to work out what the fuck's going on here. Alright. So this place has been deserted for a while by the looks of it. It's got that dingy, grubby look that uh, Fallout 3 had. Okay. Slide open the door. Hang on, that's a good way to get dead. I'm looking for things, I'm looking for secrets, looking for any item that could be useful. Fuck you guys, rad roach meat. That was a big rad roach. Oh, dang. What happened here? Where is everyone? He's been dead a long time. about the clipboard. That's definitely a skeleton. I don't want a power attack. Okay, so that uses AP as well, actually. I wouldn't have thought like normal attacks outside of VATS would use AP, but clearly AP's being used much like a stamina bar would be. Oh, well, I'll get my HP back. No rads yet, so it's obviously still purifiers working. Stimpak, Stimpak, Stimpak. Stimpak restores 30% of your max health, heal damaged limbs, and can be favorited for quick use. Alright, okay. Is this all that's left? What do we got here? 10mm pistol, we'll take that. We'll take 10mm rounds. Okay, so we have. We can do favorites. Overseer's Terminal. So that's the Overseer dead. Right. Overseer's in... Overseer Instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor, monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault -Tec technicians. Under no circumstances, suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Holy shit. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable, on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals components so I need to tinker with the prototype. It's all a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the old clear signal. Operations protocol. Upon activation, notice from vault -Tec, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with the admittance of vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, research staff are responsible for resident intake and escort each to the assigned cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcibly by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed in their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Oh god, there's so much to read here. All clear message. Following nuclear event, vault -Tec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all clear notice. Upon receiving the all clear notice, vault -Tec personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organisations or individuals not associated with vault -Tec, including government and military. Fucking hell. Alright. Mandatory shelter period. It's a short term assignment. Non resident personnel are expected to carry research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while waiting the all clear signal and to evacuate. In the absence of an all clear message from Vault Tech, an overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving an all clear message from Vault Tech. Are you clear on your instructions? There's a lot of instructions here. Overseer's log. 
Right, it's okay. Oh. Final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Vault tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion that leaping forward in time, I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realised. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nord Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried that there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryopods. Strange issues today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. Realised almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in Voltex remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope the systems were reliable once we evacuate the staff. Supplies are running low, there's been no all clear signal yet, and even though we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing here. If people think we can just leave up, leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry every one of the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do, I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until they're all clear. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have, been tur have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritising who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. People don't like it. Well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Okay, so the um, overseer went a bit postal. Opening the evacuation tunnel. Okay. So that's the evacuation tunnel opened. Have a look in the overseer's quarters. Oh, we'll take a cigarette pack, no doubt I can sell that at some point. Uh, boxes. Oh, the music building nicely. It seems like Ein and Zer's had a really good time doing the soundtrack. Uh, is there anything else on the desk, actually? I don't really search the desk. Oh, God, I can't wait to start exploring in this game. L2 to aim my gun. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, okay, so we can do L1 to target and that's... I'm gonna have to do now. L1. No. Alright, try that. Okay, so it's not the button I expected in that. But we can still queue up attacks, which is good. Although Vats is faster now, because, I mean, it was never like a pause mode in the last game, but I'm sure it was a lot, everything was a lot slower than that in Fallout 3. Die, Rad Roach. But to be fair, other than that, it actually acts pretty much identically to Vats in the last games. Okay. Alright. Press R3 to sneak. <laughs> Die again. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? I don't think anybody did. Oh. <laughs> Die. Ooh, that was that was a happy accident. I was actually hoping for that. But I pressed the wrong button. Oh god. They're all dead, Dave. This is where we came in before. Yep, alright. So this is the vault entrance. Nothing else around here. Where do I get my pip? Oh, hang on, there's something in there. A the cupboard there? Yeah, we'll take that from the locker. Thank you very much. Uh, right, okay. 
Oh, we'll take the skeleton's pit boy. He's not going to need it. I have one of those. I haven't done that with mine yet. Still need to stick my phone into it. Give it a try. No holotape found. Loading ROM. Initiate. What's it? Is it initiating rather than initializing? So change tabs with R2 or L2. Exit Vault 111. That's where I am in the world. Okay. Activate the vault door controls. Oh, so that isn't the bit boiler. I thought that was the light on it. It's like a... I don't know what that is. I think an interfacing port. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please, stand back. Oh, it's just so cool. There's that music again. Open the vault. Come on. I want to get a first look at the wasteland before I end this episode. So the door should roll over to the side now. Connect like that, and then the gate will open and allow me through. <laughs> Very imprecise, but okay. Oh, just let me walk through it. Okay. Just papers down here, nothing else. Right, here's the lift. Let's head out. And witness the future. Oh, that's taking its time indeed, isn't it? For your safety. Change name, special attributes. No, finished. Exit the vault. Perfectly happy with that. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault-Tec. I don't think we really chose vault -Tec. I think vault -Tec fucked us over and chose us. Those are reserved spots in Vault 111 had no idea they'd be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost every vault was actually a secret social experiment conducted by vault -Tec. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure that vault -Tec are just a collection of bastards. Because they always seem to be doing something really fucking dodgy. Use weapon workbenches to make useful modifications to most of your weapons. Okay. Here we go. Back in the bright sunlight. <sighs> War never changes. <sighs> Yep, it's all ruined. And they're all skeletons. Well, I'll take it right away. I'm not bothered by a pencil. No, don't want that. It's the elevator button. Wrench folder. Nope. Glad I checked that. Red X, silver locket. Rack? No. Right away. Plenty of right away. Always useful in the wasteland. Check this little do what building over here. 10 millimeter rounds. Yep. Oh, yeah. Was that in the desk? Light bulb. No, you're right there. Cram. Desk fan. Nope. We'll just carry on down the hill. God, you know what? I mean, I. Jesus, this looks good. I mean, it's bleak. Oh, we can sprint this time. Excellent, 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 excellent. And it's dependent on the ape. I know it's bleak, I know it's the wasteland, I know everything's destroyed, but... It looks... Fucking tremendous. Bit of I don't want to set the world on fire there. God's worth! It's 
Oh, what happened? What happened to the world? Uh, well, sir. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Back. Where is your better half, by the by? Oh. She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> oh, the feels. Is the lad uh, with you? He's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Slightly odd conversational choice. Two hundred years? What? Are you? A, a bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I can oh yes, I do love Codsworth. What? Food? Uh, yeah, sure. I I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so while Codsworth is off fixing us lunch, I'm going to leave this here. So this is Fallout 4. It looks fucking gorgeous and I can't wait to get further into the game. But it is late. I need to edit this and I need to get to bed. So thank you all for watching and please do stick around for the rest of the series. If you're new, please do uh, subscribe. If you enjoyed this, please do leave a like. And come back next time for more Fallout 4. For now though, thank you for watching. Sorry, I love Codsworth, he's amazing. Thank you for watching, and good night.